Hi everyone, it's Amanda. Welcome to my channel. Today I'm showing you how to achieve this no foundation makeup look. Today's video is for you if you do not like the look of foundation. Me personally, I do not like the look of it. I just never think my makeup looks good when I wear a full coverage or even a medium coverage foundation. I just think it looks weird and oftentimes it just looks cakey. So yeah, if you don't like that look, this video is for you. Also, if you want your skin to look flawless in less time, you need to watch this video. If you are the kind of person who is in the rush and you just want to simplify your makeup routine, this video will help you out a lot. Before we get into the tutorial, I would love it if you gave this video a thumbs up and also subscribe to this channel. I'm trying to get this channel to 1,000 subscribers, so if you can help me get there, I'd be very appreciative. So yeah, let's jump right into this no foundation makeup routine. All right, so jumping right into the tutorial, I have two words for you. Skin care. You're gonna wanna do skincare because obviously we are not putting a whole lot on our face to make it look good. So we gotta have skincare to make it look good, okay? Skincare for me is a crucial step, especially with this kind of look. Skincare makes a big difference in how your skin looks. It just makes it look less dull, more glowy, just fresh and healthy, and that's how we want our skin to look. So with that being said, I'm going to start off with my Nude Stick Citrus C Mask and Daily Moisturizer. Since we're not wearing foundation in this look, we want our base, our skin, before any makeup to look extra good and flawless. So I feel like this moisturizer in particular is quite brightening and it makes my skin just look really juicy and fresh and I actually feel like it makes a difference in the way my skin looks without makeup. I always try to rub my skincare in with upwards kind of motions or strokes if you will just because gravity is working down on our face all day every day but yeah still being gentle obviously not pulling our face. I just want to say as a disclaimer I styled my hair with a new hair gel and now there's like chunks in my hair it looks like I have dandruff but I promise you I don't. There's just little crusties, little chunkies in my hair from this new gel, so not stoked about that. But it's okay, I'm still gonna film even though my hair is crusty dusty from this hair gel. For under eye cream, I'm going to be using this one from Charlotte Tilbury. This is the Cryo Recovery Eye Serum. I like this one because it has this little metal tip and I feel like it does actually help a little with depuffing the under eye bags. It's nice and cold and soothing, so yeah. I'm going to apply one more step for my base and I'm going to apply the MAC Peach Light Strobe Cream. I'm going to be a little bit strategic about where I'm placing this product. I'm really only focusing this on the high points of my face. And if you do have any breakouts, make sure you are not putting this on breakouts because it will highlight them and we do not want that. And then I just work this in with my fingers. Okay, so this is our base with just skincare. I honestly think this looks so good. Just, it really brought my face from kind of dull and flat to really healthy, glowy, and juicy. Next up, I'm going to be applying concealer. This is from Kosas. This is their Revealer Concealer in the shade 02. And I love this concealer. I've already used up an entire tube. Actually, I still have it. I'm just like scraping out the last little bits of it. But I love this concealer. I think it looks really beautiful, honestly, just all on its own, no powder, no nothing, which is kind of perfect for what we're going for today. So I am using a concealer that is quite close to my skin tone. I'm not really going for a highlighted look. I'm just kind of sticking with my natural skin tone for this. So I'm going to focus this under my eyes. This looks a little dark. Okay, so I actually went and grabbed a different shade. I grabbed 1.5C. I don't normally wear cool shades. I just feel like two was a little dark. So I'm gonna go in with 1.5C and see if that is a little better. Okay, yeah, yeah, I like that way better. Okay, so I'm just going to go over those places a little bit under my eye. I don't think it'll be an issue, but I guess we'll see. So I'm just going to be applying this all the places I normally would under my eyes, around my nose chin and around my mouth a little bit just a little and surprisingly my skin is pretty clear right now so i don't have too many spots to cover but if you have spots to cover this would be your time to just kind of spot conceal okay so i'm going to start with this you don't want to go in too heavy right off the bat because obviously we're kind of going for a very fresh faced kind of a vibe so going in too heavy right off the bat 
probably won't be conducive to that kind of look. So I'm starting off light, gonna blend this out. I'm going to be blending out this concealer with a beauty blender and I'm gonna be really careful to blend all the edges out seamlessly because I don't want to be able to see really a difference between the concealed areas and my skin. I kind of want everything just to look like one beautiful, even skin tone, you know? So I'm just taking a tiny amount of that concealer and just lightly brushing it along any areas that I have veins on my eyelid. I am gonna be keeping a little bit of discoloration um, present on my eyes because I feel like it can start to look a little unnatural if you cover absolutely everything. The whole point of this tutorial anyways is to have really light coverage to embrace your skin, embrace your imperfections. If you have a few things showing through here and there, like veins, acne, scars, anything like that, it's okay, just embrace it. Moving on to the next step, we are going to apply contour and I personally love this step for a very light kind of fresh face makeup. Honestly, I feel like you can make a lot of difference in the way your face looks but you can be very subtle about it so it looks like you're not wearing any makeup at all. So with that being said, I am going to be using the Dior Backstage Contour Palette. This is my favorite contour palette and oh my gosh, I think they're discontinuing it or they have discontinued it. Luckily, I have a backup already on deck. I've gone through many of these. I love this palette. It is honestly one of my top three favorites in all of my collection. <laughs> Yeah, I don't know what I'm gonna do without this. Anyways, uh, moving on from my love story about Dior Backstage Contour, we're gonna be using the light contour shade today. I am going to be using the light shade. You can use whatever shade you want. I'm just gonna be taking that product on a pointed kind of tulip brush and I'm gonna wipe the excess off on the back of my hand just to make sure I don't have too much. So very lightly, I'm just gonna place this product right above where my natural hollow of my cheek is and blend it upwards into my hairline. Just going to apply that on my forehead as well, just lightly dusting that on the perimeters and again, blending into the hairline. We want this to look natural, so obviously we're gonna blend it right in. Just gonna dust a little bit on my jaw and down my neck ever so slightly. I'm also just gonna take a little bit of that same shade on a fluffy brush and lightly dust it along my crease just to kind of give my eyes a little bit of contour and definition, just a little. I'm also gonna take a little bit of that color on my lower lash line as well, still very light-handed. I'm actually really impressed at how little this concealer is creasing. I haven't set it at all, and it has not settled into my fine lines at all. So moving back to the cheeks, I'm going to apply blush. I'm gonna be using this Patrick Ta Do We Know Her Double Take Cream Powder Blush, and I'm actually going to be using the cream side very lightly on my cheeks. I'm also gonna take a tiny bit of blush from the powder side and just set that cream blush we just applied. To finish off the base, I am going to apply this Refi Liquid Highlighter to the tops of my cheekbones. Just gonna tap it on the highest points of my cheeks and blend that in. All right, our base is looking great. I'm now going to curl my lashes. I really feel like this makes a huge difference, especially on days where you don't have a whole lot going on. Just a little eyelash curl can really just make you look more awake altogether. See, I just feel like that makes such a difference. Look at these lashes compared to these. Next, I'm going to apply just a very light coat of mascara. Today, I'm gonna to be using my Lancome Lashy Doll Mascara. I'm almost out of this mascara, so this is actually perfect for this look because I don't want my lashes to look heavy at all. I'm just gonna really be putting the thinnest little coat of mascara on. Moving on, we are going to do brows next. I'm gonna use the Anastasia Brow Freeze Brow Styling Wax, and I'm just gonna use this to comb my brows into place and just make them look neat and clean. I'm going to be taking a very small amount on a spoolie and just combing it through my hairs. Now I'm gonna apply a little bit of eyebrow pencil. I'm going to be using the M Cosmetics Fine Liner Brow Pencil in the shade Brunette. I'm just gonna be drawing little hair-like strokes where there's any gaps. I'm not really going to be drawing on my brow per se. I'm just going to be filling in any little gaps. All right, brows are done. Now we're gonna finish off with lips. I'm going to be lining my lips with this Charlotte Tilbury liner in Pillow Talk. I love this lip liner because it is very natural looking. I can wear it on days where I have super light makeup but still kind of cheat my lips to make them look fuller. I just feel like it pulls the makeup together so nicely and for me, lip liner is one of those steps like I can't 
live without. I'm going to be primarily applying this just on the centers of my lips, on the cupid's bow, slightly overlining, and on the bottom portion of my lip in the center as well. I'm gonna take the tip of my finger and just lightly blend the lip liner out ever so slightly, just to give it a more natural look. I think I'm actually going to try applying a little bit of that cream blush that we applied earlier on my lips. I'm just gonna take a little bit on the tip of my finger and press it into my lips. I'm gonna mainly focus it on the inner portion of my lips. That actually looks so nice and natural. I really love the effect that gives. It's nice and monochromatic as well. To finish off the lips, I'm going to be applying this lip gloss from Buxom. This is their Plumping Lip Polish in the shade Dylan. I actually got this one in a little holiday set. I don't know if they make this on its own. Okay, so to confirm, Buxom does make this lip gloss in a full size. I love this gloss. I actually just love any gloss from Buxom. They're so good and they actually plump your lips and they're so comfortable to wear. Just, I'm just going to pat that on the very centers of my lips. To finish off, I'm going to set my face with this Patrick Ta Major Glow Dewy Milk Mist. And that is it for today's tutorial. I really hope you guys enjoyed this no foundation, minimal makeup tutorial. I am so happy with the way it turned out. This makeup is honestly the way I feel most confident. This is my favorite kind of makeup. I love it so much. And if you enjoyed it, please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe. It would mean so much to me. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time.